Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. During Aero India 2023, DRDO has showcased 1 is to 14 scaled model of maritime reconnaissance aircraft. The platform chosen for this maritime reconnaissance aircraft is Airbus C295. There are two versions of this aircraft being developed. The first one is called MRMR that is medium range maritime reconnaissance and second one is triple MA that is multi-mode maritime aircraft. These aircrafts will be used for both air to sea surface and air to air surveillance. The MRMR will be used by Indian Navy for maritime surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, maritime domain awareness, electronic intelligence and communication intelligence missions. The aircraft will have endurance of 4.5 hours and 400 nautical miles. The triple MA will be used by Indian Coast Guard primarily for maritime surveillance and interdiction, pollution surveillance, search and rescue. Its secondary role will include special operations, para-drop operations, search and rescue, communication and casualty evacuation, personal transportation and air ambulance. This aircraft will have endurance of 3 hours and 600 nautical mile. Both aircrafts will have flight altitude of nearly 30,000 feet. These maritime reconnaissance aircrafts will feature a variety of state-of-art sensors developed by DRDO to support its multiple missions. The aircraft will be fitted with AEAC-based maritime patrol radar and IFF system. It will feature an indigestly developed EOIR sensor which can be seen below the nose cone of the aircraft model. The EOIR sensor has been quite a significant development by DRDO. These sensors are at present integrated with various platforms such as Namika, Rudra, LCH, Prachand, etc. The EOIR sensor used in these platforms are Compass by Elbit system from Israel which will be replaced by DRDO's developed EOIR sensors in future platforms. These sensors help in imaging of targets of interest. It consists of HD day camera, thermal imager, shortwave infrared imager, laser rangefinder, and laser pointer. The sensor can operate simultaneously depending on daylight weather condition and display HDMI images to the operator. It has features of geo pointing, geo referencing, and video tracking also. The other sensors include pollution surveillance suite. PSS, Communication Support Measure CSM, Automatic Identification System AIS, Data Links for both Line of Sight and Beyond Line of Sight Communication and Mission Communication System. All these sensors will be commanded and controlled by distributed MMS and present the Maritime Domain Awareness picture to the operator on Multifunctional Tactical Console MTC. It shall also provide the same to ground data terminals through communication limb. The MRMR and Triple MR will use artificial intelligence and multi sensor data fusion technology for enhanced situational awareness. The next very important system in this aircraft are going to be Data Link and Mission Communication System MCS. The data from the Maritime Patrol Radar IFF, Automatic Identification System, and various other sensors will also be downlinked to the ground stations and tactical control data uplinked to the triple MA system. The communication between triple MA system and ground exploitation stations is through C band line of sight link and KU band SATCOM link. The mission communication system MCS provide air to air and air to ground V slash UHF voice communication. It also provides integrated control for all onboard communication sets and intercom for all mission operators and flight crew. The triple MA system will have three reconfigurable triple display multifunctional tactical console MTC capable of operating in any designated modes. The MTC will display the recognizable maritime picture RMP of the overall scenario perceived by various sensors to the mission operator. The same RMP is also communicated to the ground station via data link. The MTC also receives health information from all systems periodically and display the health status to the operator. 
The C295 based maritime reconnaissance aircraft is also well suited to conduct anti submarine warfare and anti surface warfare missions. The aircraft has underwing hard points for carrying weapon system as well as reconnaissance, jamming ports, and searchlights. The C295 has up to six underwing hard points for weapon system. The hard points can hold torpedoes, anti surface missiles, mines, and depth charges. In anti submarine warfare role, the C295 can also be equipped with MK46 lightweight torpedoes. In anti ship role, the aircraft can be integrated with two Marte MK2. S anti ship inert missiles installed under the wing. The C 295 aircraft will also be equipped with self protection equipment, including cockpit armor, a radar warning receiver, a missile approach warning system, and a laser warning receiver. The aircraft can also fire chaff and flares to deceive the incoming missiles. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.